kind of uh, an end of the year spring game. Uh, most schools in the, in, the, in the state of Texas will have what's called spring football. At West Coast High School, there was no spring football conducted uh, this year. So what the coach likes to do is he likes to have kind of what's called almost like a spring game. Of course, it's during it's during the school time. Uh, it's during the athletic period of, of, the, of, of, the, of the school day. So uh, it's kind of just an end of the year bash. Get the kids a little excitement, a little banging up, a little banging at each other without pads. Uh, get the parents involved, get them in, you know, included so they can see what these kids have been working on all spring long in preparation for August. To see the potential in, um, the, for the future of, you know, what's up with Panthers. That's what I'm here. The traditional meet the Panthers or practicing with the Panthers, we have a little, kind of like a little scrimmage, little, little deal against, inner squad against each other. And then it, it, we invite the community and the parents out and, and just kind of have it like a pre sneak preview of what's going to happen in the fall. It's very important for all the parents to support their kids uh, that are playing ball. Uh, it's very important to be out here as a, as a whole uh, to support the varsity uh, football team. But not only the varsity football team, we have to support all you know, teams, freshmen, JV teams as well. It's about football, but it's also about life skills. It's about preparing. It's about discipline. It's about working together. It's all of those things, you know. What the parents and, and make, parents are more in tune with what goes on in the locker room, but some of the, the citizens and the community members don't really know that a lot of life skills are taught after you know, the pads are put away and after the showers are taken. They take time to teach them about key words like pride, you know, discipline, structure. Um, so it's, it's an important part that, you know, that those lessons that they learn on the field be taken into the classroom. Get set! Get set! Go hard or go home. I always tell my son, go hard or go home. You're here to give 100%, and the 10% comes just from effort and practice every day. And what does the other percent come from? School. Um, you know, you're not just a, you're not just an athlete. You're a student also. So academically, and just overall, I need you to be 110% at all times. I just want to continue the tradition. You know, we 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 were the only 31-5A team to win a playoff game. And that's supposed to be the supposedly the meat grinder. It's a real hard district we're in. But we were able to win a playoff game and, and we just want to continue our success that we've had here. This is the last I think the last three years we've won three by district championship, which I think that's as high as anybody in the valley, 5A wise. I, I would encourage you to go out and get all buy as many season tickets as possible because we're gonna have a successful, very exciting football season.